Okay, so Samsung is really doing great when it comes to software update. We have been seeing a new beta update every week. Yesterday night, Samsung released One UI 6.0 beta 5 update for Samsung S23 users, which got only one add-on, but there are a lot of fixes done. We'll talk about every change in this video, what Samsung have done with this new update of One UI 6.0. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Samsung S23 Ultra, which I've already updated to the latest build. Let me show you the software information. Here you can see it says last updated on 27th September 2023. One UI version is 6.0. The update size was 742 MB for my S23 Ultra. And you can see this update comes with 1st October 2023 security patch. Even Google is not able to provide the October security patch till now. So kudos to Samsung for doing this great job. And also if you see the version previous version was ZWIC and now the version is ZWIK. First of all, let me show you the benchmark results and co we'll compare it with the previous one. So this was done on the previous update using Geekbench application single core scores were 2033 and multi core scores were 5253. But on this latest build, here are the results wherein single core has scored 2029 and multi core scores are 5229. So there is not much of difference in the benchmark results. If we talk about CPU throttling, this was the graph on the previous update wherein we performed 100 thread 30 minutes test. That time maximum CPU throttled up to 72% and here on the latest build throttling seems to be improved where you can see maximum CPU throttled up to 78%. And guys towards the left hand side you can see we have Samsung S23. So we have purchased a new S23 for better comparison to find out every change whatever Samsung brings with the new update. So if you guys like a content make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. I've seen a lot of users saying that animations are improved on the beta 5 but I personally did not notice any kind of changes when it comes to animation. Animations were already great on previous builds but there were some jitters which we used to see but those jitters are not present now on this build but i personally did not notice any kind of changes when it comes to animation and if you guys see the change logs on the previous change logs samsung had mentioned some known bugs but on this build you can see they have only mentioned the fixes there are no bugs mentioned so mostly we are very close to the stable release of one ui 6.0 so we might get to see stable build pretty soon so one new add-on what samsung have done now we have the support of 120 hertz when it comes to screen recording. So I'll show you the screen recordings which I did yesterday after updating the device. So here's a screen recording where you can see it shows 94 FPS, but that wasn't the case on previous build. So here also I have some screen recordings and here if you see the details, it says 51 FPS. You always won't get 120 FPS. It all depends how you interact with the screen. But now one good thing is you can have smoother screen recordings on One UI 6.0 Beta 5. So this is only one add-on which Samsung have done. But now let's talk about some of the fixes what Samsung have done. And the first fix is layer 2 call recording. So here this device is running One UI 6 Beta 4 and I'll show you a screen recording so this was a screen recording where I tried recording the calls but unable to record the call on beta 4. So here you can see the screen recording. I'll also show you on my S23 Ultra which is running the latest build of One UI 6.0 beta 5. So here you can see beta 4 I wasn't able to record the calls but now what I'll do is I'll make a call from my S23 Ultra which is running beta 5. So here if I tap on record call you can see now we are able to record the calls on this particular build. So this issue have been taken care by Samsung. Here you can see we also got a pop-up of recording saved. After that they say they have fixed some touch issues. I personally never encountered any kind of touch issues on my S23 Ultra and even on my S23 which is running beta 4. So some users might have reported this issue but I personally never felt any kind of touch issues on any of the devices. And another fix is layer to camera as you can see here on beta 4 camera got stuck but on beta 5 it's still working fine. So this issue as per Samsung they have fixed it on beta 5 there are no issues layer to camera but right now you guys must have seen the camera was stuck on beta 4. And another issue which they have fixed layer to camera that's layer to motion photos. So here you can see we have enabled motion photos. If I click on beta 4, first of all it takes a lot of time to get saved 
but once it is saved we don't get the option of playing that motion photo but here on beta 5 if i click the photo and then open it in the gallery here we have an option of view motion photo so this issue have also been fixed on beta 5 and one major issue what samsung have fixed with this update that's layered to maintenance mode so what happened yesterday i tried entering maintenance mode on my s23 which is running beta 4 and here you can see the video device was continuously rebooting it took hell lot of time for me to exit maintenance mode because whenever i was touching the screen the screen was completely unresponsive but on but on beta 5 this thing have been fixed i've personally tested and now if i enter maintenance mode there are no issues at all so these were all the fixes what samsung have done with this latest update but there are a few minor changes which which we have noticed between beta 4 and beta 5 let's talk about them now so one change what we noticed in most of the applications samsung have removed this contact us option here you can see we are under the settings of home screen now contact us option is not available and this change you'll find it in most of the applications here also you can see in about section contact us option was available but on beta 5 they have removed that so this is one minor change what i have noticed on this latest update and after that few applications have also been updated for example launcher application is updated but these are just upgrade in the versions i did not notice any new add-ons in the applications which got version change so here also if you see gallery app version is .28 here it is .29 some minor changes no new add-ons and at last if you go to device care you'll notice they have removed the diagnose option which was present under additional care now we only have two options which is software update and maintenance mode so guys these were all the changes what we have found out between one ui 6 beta 4 and beta 5 if you guys have noticed any other changes do let us know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day